I got a big one. Any idea what's underneath our feet, Mr. Geologist? Not really. It looks like a dust deposition. Some kind of rust. And it looks like this kind of rust is particularly sensitive to flow. What? Look beneath your feet. Oh, there's vegetation underneath. It was probably smothered. Good thing we came this way. Great. We can... That way, look. It looks like the rust has formed into a bigger chunk. Another flow bridge. That's great. It means there must be others. If we're lucky, they'll bring us back to the nest. Could always be useful. Even the apple dew shrubs are completely covered. I hope this one will yield some nice and juicy fruit to thank us. That's it. That was the last one. Clearly. We're breathing a lot easier without all this rust. smelled good around here. We should find the nest if we keep going north. Explain to me how you know which way north is on this planet. Uh, we should find the nest if we keep going straight ahead. Thank you. I have a good one. Another bit of rust for your collection? Oh, cool. I don't have this one yet. We're too heavy. Nah, this aerial threat is just too fragile. Be scared. A big bug like you.
way. Just like that. I thought this planet was supposed to be a desert. Deserted. Not a desert. According to the archives, a colonization plan had been considered by the Apiary, with Exanova as the main provider. But the planet was eventually classified as inhospitable. Let me guess. Is it because of that rusty stuff? I don't know. The file doesn't say anything about that. Hmm. I hope we don't have any more unpleasant surprises. Uh, what are they? You've never heard of boba nuts? They're one of the most nutritious nuts. 25% carbohydrates, 50% protein, 75% lipids. Great! But how does it taste? Didn't you hear what I said? 75% fat! <laughs> Of course it tastes great. It isn't ripe yet.
We're here. We found the nest. But in what state? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no way this thing is flying again. Don't say that. You can make a rock fly with the right tools. Well, maybe. But not this one. Both wings are wasted. The propellers were ripped off. And I'm not even done checking the inside. We weren't really planning on leaving, were we? We don't really have another place to go anyway. I'm tired. Why are we always so unlucky? Uh... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hold on. We decide to escape the Apiary, which apparently no one has managed to do before us. We punch in some coordinates really at random, only because some obscure document from Exanova vaguely attested to the existence of a habitable planet. By some kind of miracle, we cross the boundaries of the Apiary without getting caught. We travel across space in a Class D ship that is totally not designed for that. And in spite of the fact that this is not all terrain, we land without breaking anything. We find food and flow on site, even though we hadn't really planned for it. Finally, we get hit with an earthquake, all right, but we get out of it unscathed. The only real consequence is that the nest is a little bit busted. <laughs> and you think that we're unlucky? You, we are the luckiest people in the universe. That's, that's one way to see it. This planet is our chance to start a new life with our own rules. Away from the apiary, from the matchmaker and all that loot. And I'd rather endure a thousand earthquakes than risk being away from you. What did you say this planet was called again? Source. Source. The beginning of something. Seems like it. Whoa, what a mess. And now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah, we'll need to find a way to correct that. But it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax. If you know what I mean. You can do whatever you want, but I am going to bed. I'm not hungry. I never thought I would hear you say that in my whole life. I guess my stomach has a deep connection to the nest condition. Do you want to tidy up a bit? No. Tomorrow. I don't feel strong enough right now. Do you need anything? No. Huh. Me neither. Okay? Uh, you? Wake up! It's okay. I'm here. That was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. <laughs> Rest easy. No! I was awake. I, I could hear you. I just couldn't move or yell. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. For real? It used to happen when I was a teenager. You feel something weighing on your stomach? Yeah. On my chest. What was it? I don't know. I used to call it the ball, because sometimes it felt like a huge ball was crushing me. Oh. 
No, that didn't happen to me. I wouldn't wish it upon you. For me, it resolved itself when I left the foster home. For you, it may be related to the nest. But I don't want to leave the nest. That's not what I meant. You're stuck to the bed. The nest is stuck to the ground. There must be something in that. You've been flying in this thing for years. I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. Huh. No kidding. Which means that if we fix up the nest, this'll all go away? Could be. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing parts then. So I can get fixed up too. Now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah, we're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. People always make a big deal about salty sweet, but never peppery sweet, which it turns out is delicious. Anything would seem delicious to you, seeing your diet in the last few days. True, but don't let that take away from your cooking talents. You're just wanting to finish my plate, aren't you? <laughs> Since you're offering. Hey, you never told me. What does your mate look like? Eh, I don't know. Didn't you get her file from the matchmaker? Yeah, I did. But I never really looked at it. Seriously? You're not even curious? Well, no. <laughs> I already knew you. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, we'll look at it together. If you wish. Huh. Oh, all right. Any other pictures? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. She's kind of cute. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Don't you? I don't know. Too much makeup, I think. I like a more natural look. Like yours. Mm-hmm. Do you really think I'm not wearing any kind of makeup right now? Um... <laughs> Come on, let's check her profile instead of this foolishness. Let's see. Interests. Reading, music, having a drink with my friends. Whoa, do you think you can handle such a strong personality? <laughs> That's harsh. Job. Ocean Biology Research Assistant at the University of Ox. Huh. Okay. Looks like you two are made for each other. No one is made for each other. That's the kind of rhetoric the matchmaker uses. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But it still looks to me like that was a bleeding good pick. You'd make a great couple. Might have made. There's a difference. Uh, tell me. Are you really wearing makeup right now? <laughs> we spend every waking minute together in the nest. If I discreetly slipped into the bathroom every morning to put on some eyeliner, don't you think you'd notice? <laughs> yeah, at least I think. 
But you're not really answering my question, though. I know. a little snack for the road. Huh. Sounds good. I'll bring the first aid kit as well. Just in case. <laughs> Did it move? No, I don't think so. Bulging bloat! Ugh, it's over. It's not going back straight. We'll never be able to fix it. We are condemned to living on an incline in a broken ship forever. Until our body adapts and one of our legs starts shrinking to even us out. That's not how things work. I know that's not how things work. Nothing is working the way it should. Especially not this bloating tractor globe. Poor thing is doing what it can. It wasn't designed to lift ships in the first place. I know. But I was hoping it would go the extra mile. Right now, the batteries drain out even before lifting the nest off the ground. What if we plugged it into a flow spring? I thought about that. But we'd have to be able to seal the pipe shut. Unfortunately, I don't think they make gaskets for flow springs from a distant planet. Perhaps we can make one. With what? Paper mache? Remember yesterday when I told you that rust scatters when it comes in contact with flow? We could use that feature to sculpt a gasket out of pieces of rust. You could do that? I don't think I could sculpt a nude statue of you or a super complex component, but molding a gasket? That seems doable. That's awesome! <laughs> Hold on, let's not start pushing before the panties are pulled down. Excuse me? You've never heard of that saying? No. Uh, must be a truth thing then. That means let's not celebrate before we... Yeah, yeah. I got it. Anyway, how much rest do you need in order to... <laughs> pull the panties down? Uh, I don't know. Four or five blocks like those we already got? Okay, so let's try and find that. 